I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be why she stopped texting you. I've got an email here from a viewer, and he says, Since you get tons of messages, I didn't know if you would read this. And But by the way, you say that most of the time, if a girl really likes you, you can go ahead and assume she's going to purposely stop messaging or calling you for a couple of days to see how you respond. Not all women, what I say is some women will do this. That's why it's really important because when you figure that 97% of the guys out there that women are going to encounter don't know the stuff that I teach and most of them are very weak, very needy, and especially the beautiful women, a lot of times they will back off and not text a guy back right away or call him back right away just to see how he responds to see if he goes all psycho on her and starts blowing up her phone or sending her multiple texts or hateful emails or whatever because she doesn't want to waste her time getting involved with a needy, insecure jackass. So it's not all women will do this, but some women will do this. And you always, when you leave a message for a gal or you text her or you send her an email, you got to wait for her to get back to you because if she is doing this on purpose to test you, or maybe she's just busy and then you go and blow up her phone, she's going to automatically assume that you're weak, you're insecure, and you're needy, and therefore you're not a good catch, you're not a high-value male, and she'll want nothing to do with you because this is how most guys act when they interact with women. So he says, if she was texting you every day, morning and night, and then all of a sudden stops, do you find this happens more than not if they like you and it's like it all is indicative of how you show up how you act the things you do the things you say that's why i say it's so important to read my book 10 to 15 times <clears throat> to the point where you literally get to know the information so well you could teach it yourself because there's so many things that guys do that i talk about in my book little little subtle things that you may think are innocuous and they don't matter that will turn a woman off and cause her to perceive you as being weak or insecure or do things that basically give up the power in the relationship and then cause her to perceive you as not being worthy or they perceive you as not thinking that you are worthy because guys do so many things. And I talk about that in depth in my book. I mean, there's literally hundreds and hundreds of little things and based upon how many things you're doing right versus wrong is all going to determine how she shows up. And if you're just starting to date a girl, there could be other guys in the picture. There could be an ex-boyfriend that's trying to come back into the picture or a guy that she really fell in love with and he really, maybe he got hooked up with another girl or he got back together with his girlfriend and got serious with her. You just never know. And then she may be hot and heavy for you for the first two weeks or first three weeks and all of a sudden she kind of disappears on you and you just never know. That's why it's always best to hang back when you leave a message or you send a text, just to hang back and wait and just assume that maybe she's busy. Maybe she had a death in the family. Maybe she had to go out of town. Maybe she's sick or just who knows. The idea is to give her the space and wait for her to get back to you. And that's why when you're applying this stuff, when you just start applying what I teach for the first time, you want to date lots of different women. You want to practice with lots of different women. That way you can have options so you don't get all emotionally hung up. Because when you're emotionally hung up on a girl, that's when you're like, you got that little devil on your shoulder that's telling you to chase and to pursue her and blow up her phone like you see in all the movies and the TV shows. Because those are the things that cause her to judge you as not being worthy or not being, not really being into you. But like I said, if you don't know the material in my book well enough, there's going to be things that you're going to say and do that are going to turn her off, and you're not even going to know it. And so it's real important that you get to know the material. And if you don't have a copy of my book, you can download the Amazon Kindle version in a matter of seconds by going to my website, and underneath the email sign-up box will be a box that has a link to the Amazon Kindle download page. Once you get to the download page, if you don't have a Kindle device, on the right-hand side there's a button you can click so you can download one of their free e-reader apps for your smartphone, tablet, or your computer. It only takes a matter of seconds to install the app. It only takes a few more seconds after that to complete the purchase of my book, and you'll be reading it in no time. If you want to ask me a question or a topic you want me to cover in a future video newsletter, go to my website, click the Contact Me tab, which is on the left-hand side of your screen, 
is send me one to two paragraphs max and give me several days to get back to you with a response. If you want to talk to me right away and get my help personally with a situation that you're having, go to my website and on on the top of the screen, just click the products tab and follow the instructions. And if you appreciate the value of the information in my videos and the articles on my website, you can show your appreciation by going to my website on the bottom of your screen. Click on the Wibia toolbar, there'll be a PayPal donate button. Click the PayPal donate button and donate any amount that you feel is equal to the value of the information. And I will talk to you soon.